Hello everyone, this is Rhoda from Rhoda Cart, and today I'm going to show you how to do a theater fold card. This is one that I made with the parrot there. Pull the sides out. It stands up. Press the sides in, and it folds flat to go in an envelope, and it's flat so that you can mail it if you need to. Here's another one that I did with the parrot. The parrot's a different color. I use different cardstock on the side. So there's some things that you're going to need. You're going to need four pieces of cardstock, five and a half by four and a quarter. You need four of those. So an entire eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. You, two of them, you're going to score at two and three fourths and one and a half. So one and a half and then two and three fourths, both of them. Okay, make sure you do both of them. You also need a piece that's going to go on the front um, that is also five and a half by four and a quarter. And we're going to cut in a hole in the middle of this so you can see through to the inside. I'm going to show you how to do that. You can use dies to do that, but I don't have any dies. I don't have any rectangular or square dies. So I use a paper trimmer and trim it down. You also need two of these little pieces. They are five and a fourth by one half inch. You need two of them, and we're gonna score those and fold them too later. You also need two pieces that are four and a fourth by two and three fourths. Again, two of them. You do need one piece that's four and a fourth by two and three eighths, but you only need one of those. And then two of these pieces. And these are four and a fourth by seven eighths inch. It doesn't have to be seven eighths inch. It can be one inch. It could be one and an eighth inch. I wouldn't go any wider than one and an eighth. You'll see why when we get going. Um, these were just pieces I had left over after I trimmed my paper down. So I decided to use them instead of scrapping them. Now I went ahead and cut um, these pieces out. I went ahead and stamped them and I cut these out ahead of time. And I also cut and colored my parrot ahead of time because you don't need to see me do all that coloring and everything. So let's go ahead and get started on the card. So one of these pieces, the five and a half by four and, three, uh, four and a fourth is the back piece. That's the piece that goes on the very back. And these two pieces that are scored we're going to go ahead and fold them. I'm going to fold them in. Use your bone folder. Make sure they're nice and, and straight here. Okay, there's one. And here's the other one. And these two pieces are gonna go on the back like this. And these are gonna be the pieces that you pull in and out. Like that. So we can go ahead and stick our cardstock on these. Don't need that one. We need these two that go on the sides here. And these again are four and a fourth by two and three fourths, two of them. Okay. 
So I'm going to go ahead and stick these down. And you can use any color you want. You want to try to coordinate um, with the cardstock or paper that's going to be on the front and with the other items that you're using in your card. And while I'm doing this, take a moment to subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And if you click the little bell icon, it tells you every time I upload a new video. I'm still pretty new to the videos. This is my sixth one, but I really enjoy doing this and I really appreciate my watchers out there. So these pieces are going to go like this. When you glue these pieces down, you want to make sure that you use really good glue because these are going to open and close a lot. Um, I tried some tape runner on it, but that just doesn't hold with it opening and shut and shutting a lot. So I'm going to use this liquid glue that holds its liquid glass by close to my heart. And I'm going to use this and it holds a little bit better than just a regular tape runner. And then I'm going to put this right up against the edge here and glue it and make sure that it matches the edge all the way around and glue that down I'm going to do this on the other side as well Oop, losing a little bit of glue there I'll make sure this is in the camera. Sometimes I lose track of what is in the screen. Glue that down there. Now I put these pieces on first before I put the middle piece in uh, because I wanted to make sure that it fit right. The This piece that goes right here. I want to make sure it fits in the right spot. And that's this one here. This uh, cardstock that I cut was had an ombre look to it where it's darker on one end and lighter on one end and that's why this piece is a little bit lighter. And you can use whatever color cardstock paper you have. This is just what I had. I thought it looked good with the parrot and the leaves and the palm trees and everything and now these two pieces are the ones that are going to go in here like I said these can be wider I just these are just the pieces that I had left over so I'm going to put them because when you pull them out you don't really see this side you see more of this piece than you do this piece so I'm going to put that a little bit closer to the inside here You can make those again. You can make those pieces a little wider. It's just what I had available, so I decided not to scrap it. A friend of mine asked me to make a video of the theater fold and I really wasn't I didn't know what it was at first so I looked it up and there's other videos out there that you can watch about making a theater fold one is Jan Brown which is the one that I watched um, but her video it was beautiful her card was beautiful and it was wonderful and everything but her video was very long and she did a lot of fussy cutting and I just can't do all that fussy cutting so I adjusted the measurements for my card and this is what I came up with. So we're gonna we're gonna stop with this one for this moment, put the top on my glue, and then I'm gonna show you how to cut cut this out. 
All right, so I don't have dies. You don't have to have dies to do this. Um, most people or the other videos that I've seen use dies, which could be a lot easier than this, but not everybody has dies or a cutting machine. So I'm going to show you how to do this without using dies with just a paper trimmer. Okay. Now when you, you're going to cut basically a hole out of the middle here. And what I'm doing is I cut an inch and a half from the two sides and three quarters of an inch from the top. So what I do is I put this in so that that's one and a half there. And then what I do is I take my blade and I put it at three fourths of an inch, which is right there three-fourths of an inch, and I cut down to three-and-a-half inches, which is three-fourths inch from here. I'm going to flip that around and do the same thing. One-and-a-half, and since my blade is already in the right spot down here, I'm going to push it in, and then just cut up to three-fourths of an inch, which is right there. And then all you have to do is just put it in, line this up at three-fourths of an inch, and then just cut these two pieces together. I do this a lot, like I said, since I don't have dies. I do this a lot with different cards that I've made, and this seems to work out really well for me. And you just line this piece right here lines up with the cut. So if you line it up here, pull it down to where it lines up with the cut there, it cuts out a square. Now there's two ways that you can do the paper, because this is going to go over the top. Again, if you had dies, that would work out fine. You can take this, put it in your trimmer like I just did the cardstock, and trim it just like I did. Or you can turn it around, you can use a pencil, and mark this out and then cut it out whichever way works for you i'm just going to do the same thing that i did with the cardstock there put it in at one and a half inches start this at three-fourths of an inch cut down to three and a half Put this in at one and a half inches, cut up to three fourths of an inch, put this in over on this side at three quarters of an inch. It's easier to see if you put it in to this side instead of trying to cut it with it over on this side because you can use your measurements on this side of your trimmer. Mark, match this piece up right here with the cut mark there, pull it down to the cut mark here, flip it around three quarters of an inch on this side, match this up, and trim it. And there you go. And then this goes right on top of that, just like that. Now this piece we're going to use on the inside of our card. So I'm going to trim the sides just a little bit so that the fold inside isn't hampered by this extra piece. And this piece is going to layer on top of that, and I'm going to trim this piece down too. This is going to be two by two and a fourth. Okay, so we're going to trim this down to two. and two and a fourth. And while we have this piece out, I'm gonna go ahead and do the stamping on that. I'm gonna do the stamping on this piece. Bring my Versamat in. When you're stamping with clear stamps, it's good to have some kind of foam on it so that you can get a good crisp image when you're stamping. 
And I, for this particular card, I used close to my heart stamp set and some dies to cut out the bird. Put a low Aloha friend right there. That's all the stamping I'm going to do because I've already done all the stamping. Now I used marker and just colored in the Aloha and I'll do that in a few minutes. And then that's going to go right on there and we're going to put that on the inside of the card. Actually, I think I stamped that sideways because I was going to put it on that way. So let me flip it over and stamp on the back part. Sometimes that happens. But that's why we have two sides. You flip it over and stamp on the other side. And that's the direction I wanted it right there. And then after we get it inside, I'm going to put one of these little flowers down in the corner. All right, so we've got that done. Now we're going to put this on that, put the paper on the cardstock front. I'm just using some adhesive, some tape runner right through here. I'm gonna stick this down. Now you don't have to use tape runner. You can use liquid glue. You can use whatever adhesive you like to use. And then just line this up all the way around. And there we go. Now these little pieces, these little pieces, we're going to score them because these little pieces are going to go on the back here to hold the pieces that slide in and out. Um, you can just take this and just fold it over. You can do that if you want to. That is perfectly fine. I always tend to make it a little crooked or I don't fold it right and it comes out crooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and score it. And I score it at 3 8 and 1 half which make sure you can see this here. So I score it at three eighths and one half. And you're gonna do that to both of them. And the reason why I put two score marks on here is when you fold it over, you wanna make sure that there's enough room for it to slide in and out. If you have the fold too tight, the pieces won't slide in and out. If it's too tight, these pieces won't slide if it's too tight right here. So you wanna make sure you have enough give there so they can slide in and out easily, which is why I don't just bend it over. I tried that um, with the first one I did and it was too tight and it wouldn't slide in and out easily. So that's why I went ahead and scored it. And you've got two score marks here and I just bend both of them. So it's kind of rounded at the end. See how that's rounded? So that gives a little bit more room for those pieces to slide in and out. So around it there. Oh, I forgot to score the other end. Got to score both ends because you're going to glue them down. You're going to glue them down on the back of the front panel there. So three eighths and one half. and one half. Okay, so now we're going to bend both ends. Both ends. And you, when you glue this on, you want to make sure that you have good glue, again, for gluing these on. Make sure that you have good glue for this because, again, it's going to be moving back and forth a lot, so you want to make sure that it's glued on there really well. So, again, I'm going to use the liquid glue. I'm 
and glue this on. And I, the first time I did this, I put it all the way out to the end, and I'm not going to do that again because, again, if you put it all the way out to the end, I was having trouble with pulling it in and out. What was happening was that it, it was falling out more than it was staying in. So the piece would fall out here. It wouldn't stay in. So glue that piece down. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So I put it in about uh, a little bit less than a quarter of an inch. You don't want to put it in too far because then your pieces won't pull out very far. So stick that down there. And that's our piece for the front. And this piece can stick in a little bit more. So you just want to make sure those pieces are on there and that's the front. So now what I did was I set this down over the top and then I was able to put this piece in where I wanted it. And you can glue this piece down. And then this piece is going to go on top of that there. Now you can decorate all this as much as you want. You can put decorative paper here on the edges. I left mine solid. You can stamp more messages there or put more decoration there. You can leave it like that so people can write. You can write the greeting or whatever you want ought to write on there. And then this piece what happens is this piece slides right through here. Like so. It slides through that piece. And then this piece slides through this one. And there you go. And I wanted to put a flower on the inside there. Use some liquid glue. Or tape runner. The liquid glues. And you just put the flower right in there. And then we can decorate the front. Now what I did was with all these pieces I put on the front when you stick them down, some of them are going to hang over the edge here, so you want to make sure that you don't put adhesive on the back of whatever is going to stick over the side. And before I do that, I want to make the little punch here where you put your fingers to pull the piece out. So I'm going to pull this back out, and I'm going to put the punch here. Make sure you don't punch the back part. You, I mean, you can, but I wouldn't. It would make it more flimsy on the back. And then you just punch a little finger spot there. I'll put this back in here. And you can punch these before you stick these pieces through. And then punch this. Right there. We'll put these back through there. Ta-da! And then these are your finger pieces to pull to pull the card out. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the front. 
And some of these, like I said, are going to hang over the side. So if you do that, make sure that you don't put adhesive on the back so it sticks over the front. And then this piece is going to go on there like that. And see, that's going to stick over the side. But when you put your adhesive on it, don't put adhesive up here at the top because that's going to stick over. Just put it down here at the bottom. I just pulled it out to make sure that wasn't, you know, covering uh, everything I wanted it to to be able to see. I wanted to be able to see it. Same thing for this. I place it on here and just make sure that it's not where I want to put the the adhesive. And make sure the adhesive is not sticking on the inside there. And then I want to stick my parrot on. Um, I want his head kind of sticking over that. So I just want to put adhesive on his tail and this side of his body. And then we take him. Stick him right there. Again, making sure the adhesive doesn't stick to this piece there. And then I'm going to put my flowers down. Put some flowers on this side. You can use liquid glue on these. I'm just using adhesive to make it a little bit quicker. And that is our card. I'll stick this back through here because I pulled it out. And there we go. I put some little sparkles on this one, I put little it sparkles on it. You can put little sparkles on it. But this is the card that we just made. Oops, there's my glue. And it stands up. And this one is the one I made earlier. I wanted to show you these are the stamps that I use from close to my heart they're the palm paradise those are the stamps and it does have die cuts that come with it so these are really cool die cuts to help cut all that out and I will link I will link in the comments below the video the materials that I use. So if you're interested in ordering anything, you can look down there in the comments and see what products I used. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Thank you so much for joining me to today. I hope to see you again in future videos. Thank you so much and blessings to you. Bye-bye.